Hello, okay, welcome back. In this episode, I'm going to take this equation 2 times x minus 9, and that's equal to 10, negative 10, and I want to prove that x is equal to 4. All right, well, so I need to write a two-column proof. And when I'm writing a two-column proof, I have my statement and I have my reasons, okay? And I'm going to make a table here, all right? And my first row is I'm going to restate what, I, my, what I'm given. So I'm given this is what I'm given, 2 times x minus 9. So 2 times x minus 9 is equal to negative 10, and that's given. And this here is going to be our last statement that we're going to say when we're done. Okay. So now all I need to do is, all right, so what am I going to do next? I need to uh, distribute that 2. So that's going to give me 2x minus 18. And that's going to be equal to, uh, not 18, eight, eight, equal to 10. So uh, what did I do? Well, I used the distribution property. And I forgot to write that under my list. I'm just going to shortcut it. I'm going to say dist, D-I-S-T, property of equality. I'm just going to put E for shortcut. Now, in order to, my next step would be to add the 18 to both sides. Now, I, I could have also, in step one, I could have divided. I could have divided by two, but really they're mostly looking for the distribution property. Um, so anyways, uh, I'm going to add 18 to both sides. So that's going to give me 2x and that's going to be equal to um, 18, negative 10 plus 18 will give me 8. And I of the properties of equality, I use the addition property because I added to both sides. So I'm just going to put add dot property of e. You can say, or shortcut, ape8. All right, now I'm going to divide both sides by 2, or and that will give me x is equal to 4. And that's the division property of, oof, off my handwriting on my apologies. That is the division property of equality. And we're done. We, we proved, this is our last statement. So we proved, we justified our equation, and we justified our equation using the properties of equality um, for x is equal to 4. And that's all you have to do to write a two-column proof. Some of them might be a little bit longer than others. And they're, they could potentially be different. Um, for example, if I had, let me, let me re-talk about this statement and do it as if I had divided. So if I had my statements, so this is my statement, oops. Statements. And this is my reasons. All right. And... Let's say I'm going to write my given. So my given is 2 times x minus 9 is equal to negative 10. That's given. All right. And my second step, let's say I divided, and that gives me x minus 9 is equal to negative 5. So then I would have used the division. That would have, my answer here would have been the division property of equality. So that would have been step two. And then step three would be x is equal to 4, and that would be the addition property of equality. So that way, actually, that method would have given me a shorter step. Um, I would have been able to prove my reasoning in even less steps than I did in the first proof. Either one of those proofs would be completely and utterly valid. All right, see you in the next video where I will talk about some geometry uses um, for uh, properties of equality.